Please welcome Duquesne Head Coach Susie mcconnell Stereo to the call. Coach, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. Good. Duquesne posted a 24-9 record last season and advanced to the third round of WNIT for the first time in school history. If to finish third, Duquesne placed three players on the all-conference teams, including Vanessa Abel, Alex Ginsler, and Wumi Agumbiati. Coach, your peers uh, picked your team to finish third this season. Talk about the preseason ranking and what it means to your program. I, mean, I think it's a credit to our players, and I'm happy for our players that the coaches have respect have that respect for us in picking us third. But as a coach, I was somewhat surprised um, when I, you know, you sit down and we have to do the rankings. You know, I looked at who had players returning, and teams like St. Bonaventure and St. Joe's that have everybody returning and what we have lost in one of our leading scorers in Sam Polino. And so a little surprised that they picked us that high. But, um, you know, obviously it's preseason and it's what people expect, but there is a whole season to be played. And um, I'd rather finish third at the end of the season than at the beginning of the season. Thanks. We will now open it up to members of the media. Please press star one to ask Coach a question. And we will go first to Tad Mowry of Red Zone Media. Hey, Coach, how you doing this morning? Good, Tad. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Hey, now you're entering your uh, fifth year here at Duquesne, and you've totally, totally turned the roster over to these are all the players that you've brought in. How do you feel that you've molded the team and the style and the philosophy over the years that you want to play? Well, we've brought in players that, you know, fit our, our style, our system, that complement each other. Um, you know, we don't bring in necessarily all the same types of players. You know, we do have a scoring point guard, which I like, and Vanessa Abel has worked very, very hard. We have shooters on our roster. We have players who can penetrate. Uh, we have players that um, can go on the block and be a back-to-the-basket post player who can also step out and hit the three. One thing that we like about our players is having some versatility, and that's what our roster provides. You know, we have players who can be just that low post player, um, but they work well together, and that's the one thing that we have seen um, in the years I've been here, is that the chemistry that we've developed is has been something special and has been really instrumental in our success. Coach, you talked about uh, you talked about last year. You talked about how good this chemistry was for this team, not only on the court but off the court, and that breeded success. How do you how do you make sure that happens again this year? Uh, again, not only on the court but off the court to breed success. Well, you spend so much time together, but you try to do, it's, you know, not all business-like. It's, you know, you try to do fun things together. Um, our players went, you know, to play laser tag together and had a great time doing that. Um, you know, you have meals together. You have different things um, that you try to do to develop that chemistry um, off the court as well. Not that, Because you spend so much time together, you try not to do too much. But, you know, it, it's it's your leadership that you have on your team as well. Um, and we have two great leaders in our seniors in Vanessa Abel and Alex Gensler, and they've get, done a great job with our chemistry and doing things with our, our team as well. But you mentioned uh, Vanessa Abel and, and, and Alex. Last year you had Samantha Polino, as you, as you mentioned before, and she was quite a leader, uh, as we talk about, on the court, off the court. Are you, where are you looking to find that leadership this year? Well, specifically our seniors, our, our team um, has voted – Vanessa Abel and Alex Gensler as captains. So they're obviously looking to those two as leaders. And those two have really set the tone and set an example in the off season because they lived in the gym, they were in the weight room, and really set an example for our younger players. Um, but really, you know, we have players like Jocelyn Floyd and Aja Hall as juniors who have experience and are leaders in their own way. Um, so you really look at your upperclassmen as those players, but then I would also look at two of our players that have a lot more experience other than at the collegiate level in sophomores, Orshi Seichi and Wumi Gumbiade, who have played for their national teams. So they have represented their countries at a higher level. So you really look at uh, being a leader in a lot of different ways. But if I was to look at a leader on the floor, I'm going to go to Vanessa Abel and Alex Gensler because they obviously have the most experience being seniors, knowing our system, um, knowing what I want as a coach. And, um, you know, Vanessa Abel probably has the toughest job of anyone because that's the player that I'm toughest on is our point guard because I expect her to be a coach on the floor, to be a leader on the floor, and an extension of me as well. Coach, you talked 
talk about Womi and Orsi, and also you have uh, quite a few freshmen coming in. Uh, uh, Reagan Moore, the transfer, is going to be able to play this year. Would you say in your in your five seasons here at Duquesne, uh, coming off the school record 24 wins, this is potentially the deepest team that you've had? Um, that's a tough question because we've yet to play um, against anyone but ourselves or our practice guys right now. Um, so that remains to be seen because right now Reagan – um, is not back from her knee injury. Um, will probably be at least a month out, if not longer. So, um, you know, we're waiting on her. We've had some depth in the past. Um, I'm, I was hoping this would be our deepest team, but uh, I think that remains to be seen somewhat. I know um, we are expecting to be deeper and that our freshmen will come off the bench and, and make some contributions. And I'm excited about our depth and what our players can bring. But until they get that game experience, um, it, it's really unknown right now. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tad. We have one more question at this time. That comes from Rich Radford of the Virginia Pilot. Coach, a lot of, a lot of teams have go-to players in crunch time, but uh, you seem to have a team that, that looks on paper to have a lot of balance. Do you prefer a go-to, or do you like to put that – five on the court where everybody has to be defended well it's always nice to have a go-to player uh, absolutely and you want the ball in their hands at crunch time um you know we do have balance in our scoring we run a, a system where we run sets for our point guard for our shooters um, for our post players depending on um the matchups who's having a good game who we want to go to and you know there is balance um on our on our squad but um, at crunch time, I, I will put the ball in Vanessa Abel's hands. She has worked very, very hard. She's crafty with the ball. Um, she hopefully this year will be able to get that um, scoring opportunity at crunch time, and whether it's her taking the shot. Um, inside, our go-to player would be Wumi Agumbiade right now. And then on the perimeter, it could be Orshi Sechi, who has had a great preseason, or Alex Gensler. Um, they're right now two of our best shooters from the perimeter. So it really is going to depend on what we need, but uh, I can be um, assured that Vanessa will have the ball in her hands. All right, great. Thank you very much, Coach. We appreciate you joining us today. Uh, best of luck to you this season. Thank you very much.